Coming up to Nancy's gonna test me boxing, follow us on Instagram, ask me in boxing. Let's speak boxing. Right now I'm just driving back home from the boxing gym. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I just wanted to create this video just because all this hype, you know what I'm saying, around this Deontay Wilder fighting Ortiz and what's next. And you know, it's a, it's a great time, you know, heavyweights are by. It's nice to speak about the heavyweight division, but there's a lot, a lot going on um, with that, especially this fight with uh, Wilder knocking out Ortiz. You know, which is good. You know, Wilder. You know, I'm a big fan of Wilder. I think he's, he, he, you know, he's one of the top, if not the best, heavyweight right now in this air. And you know, hopefully they can have a unification fight on it. But as far as the knockout power, as far as his power, a lot of people are living the hype. You know what I'm saying? They see his resume. They look at his undefeated record. Yeah, he's knocking out a lot of people. But we're in the era of social media. You know, if you keep repeating something so much so much even though that there's not really proven facts behind it if you just keep saying it people start believing it you know what i'm saying if you say something enough times people start believing it. people start saying lies enough times especially if they don't know the facts but you know even boxing channels i'm seeing all this shit and all this hype saying yo this guy's the heaviest hardest puncher at boxing's ever seen look come on man uh, he hits harder than Foreman. He hits harder than Muhammad Ali. He hits harder than Tyson. Bro, you can't make that comparison. You can't make... You sound like a fucking idiot when you make a comparison like that, man. Not to take anything away from uh, Deontay Wilder. That's a bad motherfucker. And yes, he does have power. I do agree with He does have power. But, yo, know, when Foreman fought, it's a completely different era than now. Just the science, the technology, the nutrition, just the science behind it. It's completely, we evolved through the years. And just as an athlete, you know, if you talk about baseball, you talk about uh, football, you talk about all these sports, you talk about, I don't know, fucking basketball. Just the science, we have improved our science and our technologies, the way we work out, our nutrition, the way we sleep. We have so much data and so much uh, science driven data that proves beyond reason or doubt this is what you're supposed to eat at this time this is how you recover they're, they're, like there's so much knowledge to go behind it that proves your your endurance your performance that improves all that shit but back in those days you're talking about 15 rounds of boxing that god knows what you don't even know how these guys ate and slept you know what i'm saying they ate whatever the fuck they wanted to eat they hydrated and whatever they thought was was good but we evolved you know so much you know and then they stepped they, they, they jumped rope they hit the bag and then they said let's go you know what i'm saying but now it's just completely different from even the fucking shoes you know what i'm saying even the shoes the gloves you know, the, the workout equipment, the the multi supplements, multivitamins, you know, being able to when you being able to detect your fucking deficiencies and say, hey, you're you're lacking vitamin E, vitamin C, you gotta up your intake on this. Hey, don't eat red meat, eat this, be a fucking vegan, you know what I'm saying? You need to do that, you know, there's so much science behind this shit, man. Jump in, you know, uh, it, it, you know, uh, put on this mask because it increases your. It's like you're fighting at this altitude, so it's gonna increase your endurance. So motherfuckers are wearing this high altitude mask while they're running on a fucking treadmill and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, jump in and this oxygen tank that's gonna recover you to speed up your recovery, dude. You, you come on, man. Jump into this tank like you know that it's a uh, cryo freeze type shit that you jump in for 30 seconds and you bro do you, do you think Ali jumped into some shit like that? You know what I'm saying? Even the, the technology, I mean the technical aspect of boxing, it just you can't compare. You're talking about guys that just fought with raw talent, but if you take Ali and put him in this air with this technology, with this nutrition that we have, ha la la, that motherfucker would be a monster, bro. Take George Foreman in this air, get him eating right, working out right, bro, can't compare, man. I'm, I'm just saying, just stop trying to break it down because you sound like a fucking idiot. You know what I'm saying? Even the anatomy, if you look at the basketball players back in the day until now, now they're just fucking, they're big as shit, man. These guys are huge. The football players, these guys are huge. The baseball players, these guys are huge. To sit there and say, yo, back in the day, Mickey Mantle, Babe Ruth, bro, the balls were softer, the wooden bats were different. 
the wood was completely different, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now there's so many different types of bats from maple to ash, different makes, different models, the science behind it, the way they make the fucking bats, the gloves and shit like that. Come on, man. Come on. Cut it out, bro. Deontay Wilder hits hard, but don't sit there and make it seem as though he's the hardest puncher of all time. Come on. Anyways, man, I just wanted to make this video, man, because it's just, this shit's just annoying the shit out of me when it comes, no, 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 I'm not discrediting Deontay Wilder whatsoever, that motherfucker hit hard, he's a big dude that hits hard, but yo, cut it down, I know everyone's excited, but just chill a little bit, don't make it seem like this guy, you know, he hits harder than Mike Tyson, because at the end of the day, it's just fucking theories, because nobody knows, the only way you know is, if you got punched in the face back then, Go back to the future and then come back. Well, you probably won't live that shit. But anyways, guys, it's gonna be unboxing from because subscribe. Have a good one.